Jasper's owner, Frederick Rosenthal, is apologizing to the Prince George's County community, which has supported Jasper's for more than 30 years. He says he is sorry that the restaurant stayed open for hours after Verna Wynn passed away in the women's room. We were devastated by the events that took place at the restaurant. One of the members of our staff performed CPR waiting for the emergency squad to arrive. The 73-year-old Wynn had been having a late lunch with her husband and friends on October 12th, went to the ladies' room after they were done, and apparently suffered a fatal heart attack. The restaurant kept serving while medics and police arrived and then kept welcoming customers right through dinner while her body lay in the closed off bathroom and the family waited for workers from a funeral home to get here. Hindsight being 2020, we blew it. We probably should have closed the bar immediately, gone around to the tables and given people two options, finish eating your dinner, and if you prefer not to, We'll pick up the check for your meal. I also just spoke to Craig Wynn, Verna's husband. He says that Rosenthal has also profusely apologized to him. And Craig Wynn is urging people not to boycott the restaurant, as at least one customer suggested in a viral tweet on social media. About a little over 20, 25% of our business dropped off. We're local folks. We are aggressively trying to do the right thing. But somehow good news doesn't travel fast, only bad news. Craig Wynn is hoping that Rosenthal fulfills his promise to make Jaspers an industry leader in dealing with these kinds of tragedies. He says having all of the restaurant staff trained in CPR would be a lasting legacy for the woman he calls his best friend, his soulmate, his life partner. In Largo, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.